Saxon Course 2, Lesson 83 is on multiplying numbers in scientific notation. So when you multiply powers of 10, that then you add the exponents. So when you multiply numbers that are the same, that have the same base, you add the exponents. So we have 1.2 times 10 to the 5th power times... 3 times 10 to the 7th power. So we're going to first, using the commutative property, reverse the order of the factors. I'm going to, to pair up the whole numbers first. So I'm going to do 1.2 times 3 times 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 7th. Remember with multiplication, I can arrange these in any order. Okay. So I'm going to do 1.3, 1 1.2 times 3 first. So 1.2 times 3 equals 3.6. And then it's going to be times this amount here. Now when I have 10 to the 5th power times 10 to the 7th power, I'm going to add 5 plus 7, so, which is equal to 12. So it's going to be 3.6 times 10 to the 12th power. Because this 10 will stay the same, the only thing that matters is the power itself. Usually we don't show the commutative steps, we just multiply the powers of 10 separately. So here, I have 4 and 3. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. And then I have 10 to the 6th and 10 to the 5th power. So it's going to be 12 times 10 to the 11th power because 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Now, this is not proper scientific notation, so I need to change it so it's actually 1.2 times 10 to the first power times 10 to the 11th power, because I moved that decimal place over once, okay. which is going to equal 1.2 times 10 to the 12th power. So I'm going to be moving this decimal to the right 12 times to get my original number. Okay, this one has negative numbers, but I'm still going to add the negative numbers. So first, multiply the 2 and the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to have times, now I have 10 to the negative 5th and 10 to the negative 7th. This is going to be times 10 I'm going to add negative 5 plus negative 7, which is equal to negative 12. So it's 6 times 10 to the negative 12th power. Okay, this one we have a positive and a negative. So first, we multiply the two whole numbers together. 5 times 7, which is 35, times 10. Now I have to figure out what power. So I have 3 and negative 8. So if I add 3 plus a negative 8, I end up with negative 5. So it's going to be 35 times 10 to the negative 5th power. Now remember, this has to be in scientific notation, so it needs to be 3.5. So to move the decimal from after the, the 35, I have to move it to the left one spot. Okay, or excuse me. To move this decimal here back so it is the same as the 35, I have to move it to the right one spot. So that's going to be times 10 to the first power. And then I have to add this amount back in. So I'm going to times by 10 to the negative fifth power. So 10 to the first power times 10 to the negative fifth power equals 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth power as my total amount. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.